Hey all, Will Healy here, and I wanted to uh, share a video with you that I thought was really cool uh, from Simon Veer on TikTok. And uh, he posts a lot about injection molding, and I always really enjoy his videos. I'll, I'll make sure I link to his profile on TikTok down in the comments, because it is, it, it is really good videos. I like uh, watching his videos about injection molding. Uh, they're really great. But uh, in this video here, uh, you can actually see um, he's showing, it looks like laser printing onto a plastic part as, you know, secondary processes that many manufacturers do. But in the video here, you can actually see a BGL fork sensor, the, um, the self-contained through beam from Balof. And uh, these things are so powerful and they're in a couple of applications here throughout uh, the video doing a number of different things. But what's so cool about these is they have the reliability of a through beam um, sensor, and, but they're really easy to mount and really simple to apply to applications. And so many of our customers, this is one of our best selling photoelectric sensors at Balof, and um, they come in a bunch of different sizes and, and shapes. You can see here, these are forks, and then there's like L shapes, and there's different lights and lots of different applications, lasers and red lights and stuff. But um, these fork sensors are so versatile. And I just, I love this video because it showed a lot of different ways that the fork sensor can be used to detect parts in a process and in an application. So you can see where the, um, the little pallet to be printed is, is being run into the sensor and that triggers other automation. And so if, you, uh, if you're interested in more, I recorded a bunch of videos for Balif on these and I'll, I'll link to a playlist down in the comments on, on the self-contained through beam. But I just thought this was a cool video and it's always fun to see our products in action and to see sensors and automations just really fun. So uh, I, thought, I thought that'd be a cool one to share with you. And uh, until next time, ask yourself, what will I automate next?